Hi everyone, hi Nick. I'm back with another completed journal. This is the my um, December design team project for Tsunami Rose. And um, for this one I chose the kit um, Vintage Parcel. Uh, it's basically a combination of sort of like male um, oriented um, ephemera and so forth along with lots of flowers and roses mostly roses it's um, really pretty I've had the kit in my stash for a while <clears throat> and I um, thought this was a good time to use it I've also used um, from my stash uh, a Tim Holtz um, paper collection called Correspondence get it Never mind, not going to get it because it's way down at the bottom of the pile. So I actually put something back for once. Um, it's the uh, Tim Holtz uh, paper stack called Correspondence. It's all um, mail, email, um, air mail um, themed, and I've had it for ages. Uh, didn't know what to do with it, bought it, love it, didn't know what to do with it. So I uh, decided to incorporate that into this journal. Um, and everything else is from the kit. Uh, let's see, measurements are about seven and three quarters by, squash it down, about six. Um, one signature, soft cover. Um, it's got very chunky. Almost had to stop. Um, I actually had to stop putting stuff in it because the cover wasn't going to actually cover the pages anymore if I put any more in there. So this is huge. Uh, Sonian signature. Closure is just some navy blue um, seam bindings just wrapped around a bunch of times. It's not attached or anything. Uh, cotton string for the binding. This is a piece of cardstock from that uh, Tim Holtz collection. It's like cardstock weight. So that's what that is. Uh, this is just an image from the kit, um, which I cut out and sewed it onto a piece of um, some book page and then um, glued it on to here. Um, it's pretty basic, really. So let's go inside this guy. Sorry about the light, it's um, really. Uh, we have freezing rain here today, uh, it's really gloomy, but it's gonna kind of be like this all week, and um, I really I need to get this filmed, so um, I think you can see everything okay. I know it's got a little bit of glare on this side, but I think I think you should be able to see everything okay. Uh, okay, inside front and back cover, this is just this is double sided uh, paper, so this was what was on the uh, other side. I think probably this stripe was supposed to be like the B side but it's too busy for the cover for what I wanted so I put this on the inside and it's the same on the back. Uh, everything's been either inked or coffee dyed. I inked with uh, frayed burlap this time. There's a lot of images from the kit. Um, all of the images, the all the printout pages have been um, glimmer misted with this one. If, I don't know if the camera's picking up this, probably isn't picking up the shimmer, but it's got a real nice shimmer and it feels really yummy. Um, got tuck spots. Some of these are just, um, just attached down. They're not, they're just kind of on there. There's little bits of ephemera from a Tim Holtz ephemera pack called, that goes with the correspondence. We have some canvas, some burlap, that kind of thing. Um, I didn't do any stamping because I only have one. Um, postal postage related stamp and um, I thought it'd be kind of boring to just use the one stamp all the way through so I made I did some embellishments this way did quite a bit of layering um, and quite a bit of sewing actually so 
So we have and there's threads and bits everywhere here. So I, I literally just finished this. Uh, doilies and you have corner. These all flip up if they haven't glued them shut, which I typically do. And I have again, of course. I can't. Even, here we go. Put my finger in there. The book is so rounded out I can't even make it flip up right. Um, these have been um, glimmer misted inside too. I just did all of the pages all at once because I hadn't really decided how I was going to put this together yet. So these are all uh, glimmer misted inside. So that was all flip up. And then I made a ton of tags. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz ephemera. That's from the kit. Um, I just cut up a couple of a uh, couple of file folders. They were topped with either cheesecloth, burlap, or um, little bits of ephemera. Uh, this is a guest check that um, Renee gave me, and I cut some tags out of that uh, Tim Holtz paper collection. So those are in there too. Lace on some of the pages. Calendar page. There's lots of writing space in here. I use some of uh, Daisy's um, decoupage flowers for some uh, tuck spots. Uh, and that's from the kit. Just a little teeny tag from the file folder. It's another one. This is from the kit, and I stitched around a lot of the larger ones. Just put them on some coffee dyed paper. And another tag. Popcorn bag, it's been coffee dyed that uh, Renee gave me. I think these are really cool. Um, this is a vintage airmail um, label out of my stash. That's not a tuck or anything, it's just, um, it's just hitched on. And it's a layering that makes a little, makes a little tuck spot. That's a Tim Holtz piece, some cheesecloth, and a little tiny uh, one of Daisy's flowers there. And I had to put the paper clip because it wouldn't it wouldn't stay. And it's a tag. And that's from the kit. And so is that. And I just didn't want to didn't want to stay in there without the paper clip. This is vintage here. And another flip. That's a Tim Holtz. That's from the kit. And a couple tags that I made. Some uh, grid paper, dictionary. Some more of Daisy's flowers. Tag. That's from the kit. So is that. And another tag that I made. And this is from the kit. This little stamp ephemera. And I just, uh, I didn't cut them apart, folded them in half, use them for a tab. That's another little bit of layering with a Tim Holtz piece. Piece of uh, canvas, some lace, and another little uh, Tim Holtz thingy. And that's from the kit tag I made, and that is from the kit. And a doily, some lined paper, a tag, another flip. and two tags. Book page, lined paper, and this is just a coffee dyed envelope. Um, that's from the kit. I put it on there and make it look like a stamp. 
and just flips out. This is all glued down, so just, just journal right over it. And it's just an extra little bit of paper. Some more vintage lace. It's another little bit of layering. It's just stuck down. Um, one of uh, Daisy's envelope sets. With a piece inside it. This has also been sprayed with some like some gray, um, silvery glimmer mist. Oops. Add some lace on the edge of another layered tuck spot. Piece from the kit, some burlap, some canvas, and another Tim Holtz piece. And that upside down, that is Tim Holtz. Tag is from the kit. So is this. And two tags. Center of the signature, and we have a key, and a, I don't know, like a, just a swirly, like a swirly thing. I don't really know what that's supposed to be, but I didn't have anything that was really male related, so just kind of went generic. Uh, it's a big piece of ephemera, makes a nice big journal spot. That's from the kit. Another little bit of layering. Just some cheesecloth and a Tim Holtz um, airplane. Some more of Daisy's flowers that make a tuck spot. And there's a Tim Holtz tag and some more from the kit. <coughs> Excuse me. Another flip up with another tag it's from the kit and two more tags. Some more layering. Uh, it's a couple Tim Holtz pieces and some cheesecloth and this does make a tuck spot there but I, like I said I had to stop. Is that just I put any more I was not going to be able to close this. Uh, this is uh, one of the uh, vintage letters from my stash. This one's from um, 1944. This is from him to her. It's just hitched on with a little uh, clothespin. Another little bit of layering. Um, that's from the kit. Some burlap, some cheesecloth, a Tim Holtz. And that's a Tim Holtz. A couple tags. And that's from the kit. Another flip up. Holtz tag. This is from the kit and I just folded it in half so it makes a little booklet. And a couple more tags that I made. And some extra thread everywhere here. Some more uh, flowers. And this is a tag that I made, and that one's from the kit. It's got uh, coffee dyed paper on the back. Another flip. 
And there's three tanks that I made, and that is from the kit. Here's the other half of the popcorn bag. Um, some more uh, some more layering with just um, some burlap and a Tim Holtz piece. Uh, another little tuck. That's from the kit. Some cheesecloth, a bunch of pieces of lace, and a Tim Holtz stamp. Our calendar page. Doily. And that is the back cover. So there you have it. Uh, this will be on my Etsy Pumpkin Patch Journals. Um, so if you're interested, hop on over there and check it out. If you have any questions, please ask. And I will see you next time. Bye!